okay now we have two SSL certificates hmm? I will go ahead and I will do the organization same thing I'm doing the same thing that why did uh, that uh, that that uh, I did for the retail organization Okay, so both organizations are now ready for the communication. What is the next? So next step will be next step will be these both parties, which parties? Your bank and your retailer has to share information with each other okay this guy need the public keys of this person and this person need the public key of this person right your retailer need the as2 identity of your bank or and your bank need the AS2 identity of retailer, right? This is what uh, that is why you uh, when you do AS2 setup, your partner give you a document that has all the details. Okay, so you will get one uh, document that will have your URL, AS2, uh, AS2 identity, and the detail of certificate and what algorithm will be used for the encryption and the signing and uh, whether it's a synchronous asynchronous mdn and other details based on that information you will be setting up everything okay now let's do that so first we have to exchange a cert exchange a, exchange the certificate between these two parties okay so now you understand how to exchange the certificates now obviously as i explain you no one will share his private certificate private certificate is very private it's, it has to be very secure in your organization so we need the public certificate okay so this is your retailer got it right this is your retailer retailer will send his public certificate to bank and the bank will send the public certificate to retailer so this was the your encryption certificate do the checkout All right if you want to extract the public key public key from SSL certificate then uh, in SI what you have to do is you have to search your certificate in the system uh, 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 system system user interface and then you have to click on the checkout click on the checkout and uh, these are the two formats that can be used to extract the public key so I will use base 64 and click on the go right so it is asking you to save it so I will say save okay so this way my one certificate is downloaded and saved in the file system and next is this one signing retailer 
check out base 64 and click on go save that's it once so uh -huh. Uh -huh. go ahead yeah thank you so here uh, OP, uh, ops key op, uh, signing in certificate here i see few of the names here right mm -hmm. so these are all system generated yes all these are the system certificate that uh, are configured somewhere okay okay yeah. but uh, because i have configured these certificates signing uh, which one signing underscore retailer so i have to provide this certificate okay so here are my two certificates this and this these are the public certificates for the encryption and signing right i will send these two certificates to my bank or to the other party who want to communicate with me So this was your encryption public key and okay this is your signing public key you will send this certificate to your uh, bank for bank okay uh, that's fine uh, okay This is your bank, right? S note. Come over here. So your bank need encryption and signing certificate of your retailer, right? So what he will do, he will download these two certificates. This is public certificates of retailer. Okay, next. Your bank also have to provide their public keys for the signing and encryption to a retailer. Correct? So, you have to do the same thing here as well. System. Or actually, I will search it here. Right. right these are the two certificates that we created i will check out
these are the two certificate right that you want to send to your partner to retailer okay let me complete this step and then <coughs> i will take your questions So why I'm sending like this because I have two virtual machines right and uh, I have no way for these two virtual machines to communicate with each other so either uh, I have to use the pen drive to copy the certificate from the these two virtual machines are like two different systems okay so I have to use the basically a uh, pen drive to copy the files from one virtual machine to another virtual machine right I mean there is a way to share something uh, some folder between two virtual machines but that does not work in my system due to some reason and uh, my son thinks he is more smart than me so he has broken the pen pen drive okay so that is why i'm using gmail to uh, you know pass the certificate uh between the between these two systems now i will download the certificate that your bank has provided in the retailer system Okay. <clears throat> okay. So let's. Uh, okay. So this is uh, you can see that P node means retailers uh, application. So what do you need? Uh, we want to come over here, right? Now your organization want to communicate with the bank, right? So for that to happen, you have to create a partner profile in your system. Okay, getting it? Now you have to create a partner profile in your system. So let's create a partner profile. How you will do? Click on go. Partner. Click on next. Click on next. Identity. Right. So identity name can be anything.
identity right but as2 identity has to be exactly same okay character by character as the as2 identity of your partner right so when we created as2 organization right when we created as2 organization we set up a identity you remember see identity was bank this is the as2 identity of your bank organization so you have to use this in the as2 identity this is this is the information that you have to provide it you have to provide to your partner bank click on next profile name so can be anything whatever makes sense to you then http client adapter okay in your system you may have i have explained you right what is service and what is instance right so in si you have a service called the http client adapter http client adapter nothing but is like your browser who can who has ability to generate http requests or to send send http requests okay so in my system i have this multiple 1 2 3 4 5 five instances of http client adapter okay so you can choose whatever you like so i will choose the first one which is default right if you do not like these instances you can create new instance of http client adapter in the deployment services and configuration okay and uh, you can use that here so if you create there it will come in the drop down over here got it next endpoint what is this endpoint okay so from yesterday i explained you one thing as2 protocol is a specification that is built on the http http transport protocol right so because uh, this is your retailer or this is your p node who want to send a file to your uh, bank right so you will initiate a connection and that connection will end up on your bank right so your bank have to have an http server and in the terms of si your